All right, guys. Hey, it's been about an hour and a half already, and I think my cooker just about done. It's still, still running. Uh, 225. I did bring it down just a little bit because I had it at 250. I just wanted to get a little bit more smoke on it, and and it's quite, it's quite smoky, guys. But I can tell you something. You know, it was so easy, okay, to come out here about four o'clock in the morning, 4:30. You know, flip the switch, get the pellets going. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, I was up and running. 10 minutes, and it probably took my pit about 10 minutes to get up to about 225, 250. That's how easy it was. Very simple. I don't gotta do a lot of work. And it gives me a good smoke profile, especially on chicken because it's a small cut of meat. Let's about to turn my light on so you guys can see real quick. There we go. So my drumsticks are already, uh, already done. Uh, I don't like to cook my chicken all the way through because I still want it to be, I want it to be probably around 1, 145, 150. Okay, so when I get when I get to uh when I get to my pit to the restaurant, you know, I can go ahead and finish it off and it's still juicy. So I'm not gonna cook these all the way either. Probably about let's see where we at. Let me take the internal temp. But this is my jerk chicken. And it's not too spicy. No, no, guys, no. It's it's spicy. It's spicy. Let's see. Let's see where we at. That's perfect. 156. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in a pan, and then hold them, and then um, cook them again all the way to 170. Because I have learned, if you try to cook chicken, if you you know for ready to serve in the next couple hours, I'm not gonna take them to 170. I'm gonna take them to 150, one, uh, 155, 160, and then I'll put them in a the pan, and let it let it continue to cook in the pan, and then go ahead and um, put them back on the grill and bring them up to 158. Okay, we're fine with that. Awesome. Let's see. 169. Okay. All right, there you have it. Pit boss doing some work. So it's like 50 pieces of chicken. That's all I'm gonna do. Alright. So eventually, I will be taking this pit boss uh, down to the uh, down to my store. And then go ahead and go ahead. I'm coming to see you, Mark. I'm coming to see you, ma'am. I'm going to go ahead and get that judge. All right? I'm going to go get the judge four-footer. I'm not getting the five now. Just the four-footer. <laughs> All right, I think that looks good. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and check out these uh, drumsticks and see where, where we're at on these. Now, there should be a lot of juice in here. That's the way I like to have it. I got, I got some. Because I don't, I don't do the typical jerk chicken. I like to do my, I like smoked jerk chicken. Because as it's, as the jerk chicken is going down and hitting that pellet grill, you see I was putting that good sear, that good brown on there. That's perfect. I mean, less work for me. I don't have to monitor the charcoal. Uh, when you, because I usually use charcoal and wood. It takes too much time. This does the same thing. Let's cover this back up. Oh man, that's awesome. And I can load this thing of eight racks, load plenty of chicken, plenty of pork steak, and get the same results as a charcoal grill. Okay. All right, guys, hey, I gotta go. God bless y'all. And uh, I'll bring you guys back later on today when I'm gonna be grinding my turkey legs for Friday and a couple of brushes that I'm gonna be putting on today too. All right, God bless you. Hey, we'll talk to you later.